Hi all my gorgeous people of YouTube, how are you guys today? I have not done a makeup tutorial in a little while, so I guess it's probably about time to do one. And the last video, aside from the naked vlog, the last real video that I did was the uh, I've Got a Theory video, which is a song from Buffy the Vampire Slayer, their musical episode. Um, and I tried to sort of play every character. Um, I didn't do Tara, but... That's just because she says, I've got to, and then gets cut off. Um, <laughs> anyway, so there are two looks that I get asked a lot, like, like what did you do? Can we have a tutorial? And all that kind of stuff. And at first I wasn't going to do one because the looks are really simple, really, really simple. Um, but then I thought, well, you know, I don't really have anything else I really want to do a tutorial on right now, so I might as well just go ahead and make a tutorial on those. So that's what I'm going to do. So because they're so simple, I'm going to do both of them. I'm going to do the Buffy look, which is the orange and pink look, and then I'll do the Willow look, which is the really natural um, look with freckles. So you guys can see what I did for that. So stick around and I hope you, hope you enjoy them. Alright. The first thing I'm using was, an, or the first thing I did was put on Urban Decay Primer Potion as my base. Sorry, I lost it. It's right here. <laughs> so just put that. You don't need a lot on your lid. All the way up to the brow bone. Just a regular brush. <clears throat> and some orange pigment. Well, you can use whatever orange you want, but I really enjoy, I really love this color. Um, I'm not a big orange person. It doesn't work well for me, but this one really does. This is Beauty from the Earth. Color is tangerine. And it's almost like a, it's just a really light kind of yellow based orange. So it really works well for me. But I just pressed it on my lid. And it goes all over the lid. See, really simple. So, if you have blue eyes, this is really going to make the blue in your eyes stand out. You can already see, my eyes are green, usually they do change colors, but they already look a little bit more blue. And then I take this pink color, which again, is like pink and I do not go well at all. And you guys probably know this from my videos. Anytime someone requests a pink, I'm like, eh. But this pink really works very well with my complexion. And it really complements because it's kind of... Um, it's a different sort of pink than what it looks like when it's in the, the container, when it actually goes on. It's just a really true pink. So this is Strawberry. Um, it's, again, from beautyfromtheearth.com. I'll put the link out here in the sidebar in case you guys want to check it out, because she really has some really great products. And you get a lot. You know, these go a long, long way. So, and they're very finely milled, so they go on really well. They blend really well, too. So I just put it... Put it, I put it that. <laughs> I put this in the crease. And I did all the way down in an arc. And I just drew kind of a thick line. It doesn't have to be perfect or anything because I'm about to blend it out. Just kind of smudge it up. For the lips, what I did was I took this color. Um, it's a NARS lipstick in Fire Down Below, which is a really bright red. And all I did was I put it on. really sort of chaotically and then wiped it off so kind of press it in so that it really stains and then remove it so you've got sort of a stained effect and then over that I put my Smashbox um, gloss in snap and there's the Buffy I've got a theory, it doesn't matter, what can we face if we're together? <laughs> really, really easy. 
Okay, for the willow look, you want to start with a completely clean face. Um, try to get as much as your eye makeup off as you possibly can. Take off your mascara, everything. So, she, I mean, her look is very, very clean. You know, that's what we want to go for here. So, if you already have really good covered, or really good skin, even skin tone and stuff, most of us don't. But if you... If you do, then I would just start with a tinted uh, tinted moisturizer. What I'm going to use is something I haven't talked about, but I have, I've had it for a little while. Is the new MAC Mineralized Foundation. So this is a mineralized SPF 15 foundation. It's loose. Um, you can only pick this up at Nordstrom's now. MAC's not selling it on their site until either the end of this month or early next month. But it comes in a little package like this. Looks sort of like um, a game piece, like the Sorry Games. You know what I mean? Can you see it? So you take it out, or you twist it off, open it up, and it comes with this little applicator. It's a little sponge applicator. Um, I like the applicator, but I don't like it to put on this foundation. I use it with my normal Studio Fix. It works really well. Coverage is really good. But it doesn't get down into the product that's actually the mineralized very well on this. Like You really have to shake and bake it. But even then, it doesn't, it's not that great. So this is what it comes with. You do get an extra pad in your packaging. So that, that's good. You got an extra one of those. But you just take it, and I kind of even it around, and then you buff it on in circles. Okay. I applied Polished Ivory, it's a MAC pigment, so I applied that on my lid just to even out, you know, and kind of brighten up my lids a little bit. So I just kind of put it on my eye and then I, I blended it out with my finger. We're not being too technical about this, this isn't about a lot of makeup. Here's the Avon Cool, Cool Prism, it's like a blue based pink. It's almost a lavender pink, even. So, I get quite a bit on my brush, and I just, like, seriously, on the apple of your cheek, but do a big circle right there. You're getting, like, flushed and youthful appearance. Anytime I think youth and young, really a lot of, of hot pink, or not hot pink, but a, a bright, vibrant, you know, clean pink, and then I'll, on your apples or your cheeks. You see the kids where they've got like those big rosy cheeks and they're like, you know, that's, that's kind of what we're going for here. Now I do have some mascara still on from the last uh, look that I just did, so it's going to be a little bit harder for me to apply mascara without clumping it, so I'll show you what I do to declump. It's from Sonny Kashuk. You can just comb through your lashes. Now some people, my mom included, use a safety pin, but that to me is just a little too barbaric. It scares me a little bit, frankly. So I like to use this, even though it's still generally the same idea. I just feel like I have better control with this thing. And then I'm not going to pierce my eyeball. Right. So there's that. We just do our freckles. So what I used, this is a L'Oreal Color Rich, or Color Rich um, liner, lip liner in Rose, Forever Rose. Looks like that. Sort of about a shade darker than my natural lip color. I think that's a pretty good um, comparison to pick your color by if you want to do these. Now these freckles look a lot more natural on camera than they do in real life so just be careful if you're actually going to try this give yourself freckles and you just kind of stick and twirl and stick and twirl and stick and twirl all over in the manner that you like. I like just kind of a bridged sort of you know from the bridge of your nose and out sort of look um, rather than looking like Lindsay Lohan with all the freckles in her face. 
just for this. I mean, if you have all these freckles on your face, then whatever, you know. Cool for you. Or maybe you hate them, but I think you should embrace your freckles. Don't try to cover them up like Lindsay does, because I think it looks stupid whenever she's got, like, a sort of plastic pasted on face from all the makeup that she has to wear and then from her neck down and shoulders are all freckly so it's like who are you trying to fool like embrace the freckles clean up your skin just wear a tinted moisturizer so that you know your face is a little bit more even complected but embrace the freckles And I'm just really patting it out now so that the color is not so, um, harsh, you know? It's like the illusion of freckles. Oh, that was too much. Okay, so I've got those on, and then I'm just going to kind of pat them a little bit. You can pat them if you want to with, a, like, a tissue or something to get some of the excess color off so it's not so, oh my god! And then over the top of that, I take my mineralized stuff with the sponge and just kind of go over it. So the powder, when it sticks to the liner, the color on the liner, it just gives it a more flesh-toned look. much more natural. Sort of a reddish color for Willow's eyebrows just because she's got red hair and even though I don't it just lightened up my brows just enough. So I use this color from the Sephora eyebrow kit. Usually I use the dark brown color as you can see by the hole in it. I just take my Smashbox eyeshadow brush and you put on the powder. I put powder first then wax. That's just me. Fill in your brows as dark or as light as you want to. The wax just sets the powder in place so that during the day if you go to wipe your eyebrow you don't wipe off the powder with it. Or the shadow. Okay, and then for my lips I just use the snap gloss again because it's a really nude or natural I guess is more likely and you just open your eyes really big and look try to look innocent and that's all for the freckly willow